Okay, good morning again. The next thing we're going to construct today is an astrolabe. I'm, we're going to do two so that we can compare um, how this tool evolved. We're not going to do this one today, or if I get to the photocopy machine, we'll do this one today. It's a little simpler than the one we're going to definitely construct. So we will make one of these. I just got to get to the photocopy machine, which might not happen today. So here's the simple one we will make and use. And here's the more complex one. Now you might look at this and freak out and say there's no way I will ever be able to use that tool. One of our nature of science standards is to learn how to use scientific tools and take measurements. This is really easy once you know the steps. So don't go crazy, you know, freaking out because it has a lot of lines and numbers and measurements. Notice that you have a plastic overlay on here. You want to be really careful when you're um, cutting that out because that was the expensive part of this besides the cardstock. If you would love to donate to class, we're in need of scissors, we're in need of scotch tape, and we're in need of cardstock, which is the heavier paper. You can get it in an office store or Walmart. It's called index card or cardstock. Okay, so things you're going to need to do have to construct this. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need some glue. I'm probably later going to use Elmer's glue. You might let you use this box knife. I haven't decided yet, so we'll see. Teenagers, box knives, horseplay, someone will probably bleed, and we don't want that to happen. we got to have safety in our laboratory. Okay, you're going to need three, no, two handouts, because I saved some cardstock and put them all in one. So you're going to need the motherboard front, which is this one. You're going to need the motherboard back, which is this one. You are going to need a push pin today, and you are going to need a brad. Today, please only take one brad. We're only um, doing one thing with a brad today. I'm just run out. I gotta, every time I go and buy them, they don't have them, or I'm buying the last thing that they have. So if you also want to donate, some brads would be a good thing to donate to. So you're going to cut these pieces out. You also need a piece of cardboard, sorry, I forgot to tell you. And then you're going to want to make sure to cut them out like this. Sometimes you guys don't listen. Imagine that, teenagers not listening. You need to keep this lip up here. Um, this is where you're going to hold on to the astrolabe as you're using it. So it's kind of where your thumb piece is going to be. So you want to keep that piece when you're cutting the astrolabe out. You want to try to be as close as you can to this circle because what's going to happen is you're going to glue this piece onto your cardboard and then you're going to cut it out and then you're going to line up this the other piece to line up exactly with it on the other side of the cardboard. Then you're going to make some punches with your brad. Wiggle it around so the brad will fit through. I might have to get longer brads. These might not fit. So we might not be able to do the brads today. And then you're going to put the brad through so that everything is going to spin. I didn't pick up the transparency part. You're also going to have to cut out this, this part right here. If we don't get to the construction part of this one today, that's okay. Um, but make sure we get our two pieces cut out. Make sure we glue it to our cardboard. Make sure we've had our little hole. We also have the ret and label. That's what they call it. And that's these little spinny things. So you're going to have this one and you're going to have this one. So I will have examples for you out to look at. See you soon.